आपने मंचोज माई नेम इज हर्ष वेलकम बैक टू मंचोज मूवी मूवी अवॉर्ड एक इन ए मंचीज या सो वो बी डूंग टूडे अबाउट यर सो बिफोर वी गेंट टू आर नॉमिनेशन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट मंचीज सिंस वे सच बिग फैंस ऑफ दी ऑस्कर नॉट uh what we're doing is we're doing what the oscar should be doing but they refuse to accept it we're doing different categories we're recognizing superhero movies because of the geeks that we are of course and 2019 has some good stuff going on what right. we're doing specifically today as he said is best cameos we had a lot of good movies we had a lot of unexpected cameos we had yes. a lot of big names pop up on the big screen as they were mentioned on the cast so there's totally. a lot to talk about here let's just dive into the nominations yo So before we get into our nominations since we had so much to choose with especially thanks to the superhero movies we have to start with our honorable mention that's the great stanley of course always yeah so we all know that he passed away in 2018 right. uh, sadly however the mcu did their due diligence they featured him as much as they could of course interestingly uh, captain marvel that came out just before end game end they game, actually right. do this homage in the opening credits where they show each and all sad cameos right absolutely that was beautiful we know he's in the train of captain marvel right however in end game right when tony stark goes back into the past to have one on one with his dad that is right. there's this cool guy in a cool classy 70s car with a lady and that my friends is the digitally created stanley of course and uh, like you all know stanley stanley cameos in marvel movies man they're just such incomplete. a massive yeah. thing so yeah. like, obviously yeah, every movie feels feel incomplete yes. and i'm really sad that you know going forward i don't know how marvel is going to deal with right, this if right. he's going to be there or not right. but i think this was a good word uh, yeah, imagine this good side Was a good send off absolutely. absolutely yeah so that wraps up our honorable mention we had a few more to wrestle with but let's just quickly get into our top 5 now in no particular order let's do this nomination number 1 first and foremost let's go to Ryan Reynolds in Hobbs and Shaw <laughs> Ryan Reynolds is such a personality and he's literally playing Deadpool and himself in this movie this is the fact that Dwayne Johnson <laughs> goes into this cafe cafe and has this meeting with the CIA douchebag who who is a motor mouth and a potty mouth and just can't stopping and abusing and Ryan Reynolds man he's so lovable when he does his thing you just can't stop you just gravitate towards him you can't stop looking at him absolutely and he pulled it off man totally man i mean Blake Lively approves <laughs> <laughs> from Green Lantern, but yeah, it's so fun. Like Ryan Reynolds playing Deadpool, playing Ryan Reynolds, like he just entered in the Fast and Furious franchise. It was, I think, it was a match made in heaven. Absolutely. And then you have like there's this particular joke, and like it was a crowded theater. We were on one side, and as soon as he appears, everyone was like, whoa, whoa, and then. He, goes for this part where you're killing someone with a brick, the brick. and he's like what's the point of you telling us this story and he's like no no the, the point brick. is the brick had no pointy edge <laughs> and we just died laughing <laughs> apparently nobody else got, got it though it was just a so, cool first but whole theater ha 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 that's it right but our Ryan Reynolds man i can't wait to see him incorporated in now that he's already been a cameo i can't wait to see him being incorporated into this entire franchise right. and you know go balls to the wall with Dwayne Johnson and 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 Dominic Toretto oh my god let's do it yo nomination number 2 we have Harrison Ford as Han Solo in Rise of Skywalker damn and yeah obviously man i think this scene actually moved me i was almost in tears kylo ren finally having that you know proper father son father son moment and we seen this exact same scene in the first movie the yep. force awakens right. it's the exact same dialogue right. it's just the way they say to each other the intention and the emotion behind it is different so the yep. entire scene means something completely different right. and i thought it was shot beautifully i wouldn't have believed you know harrison ford would come back for another star wars right. he's been so happily He wanted to move out of the franchise long, long back, and yeah. he's been killed off. Yeah. But this movie deserved something like this, a cameo like this. Yeah. And I think he pulled it off. He killed it. Correct. I mean, overall, a so-so movie, but this moment was was pretty damn cool. Yeah. Nomination number three goes to Keanu Reeves for playing him himself. himself. Yeah, in Always Be My Maybe. This scene, you got Sail playing in the background. Yo. You got Keanu Reeves walking up in slow motion, <laughs> doing his a complete, you know, star-studded right, walk and right. everything. And these guys are on a date. Right. This scene itself is hilarious. He comes in, he starts making out with Ali Wong like crazy, and the only stars that matter. 
are the ones in your dreams. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is Keanu Reeves personified this yeah. scene. Being Keanu Reeves. Absolutely. And I had so much fun with this movie <laughs> and this scene, man. Yeah. Slow motion. Seems like everything stops. So I was looking at him, checking him out. We even have Randall Park and his side check. Absolutely. Open mouth and good. Oh. So yeah, so that was a nice little cool thing. And to Keanu Reeves become a phenomenon. I'm glad movies like these indie movies or you know comedy movies are now having him come in as cameos. Yo. It's so much fun watching him on screen. Absolutely. 2021. John Wick 4. Matrix 4. Let's do this. number 4 we have spider-man far from home yes we'll geese yes we'll keep quoting superhero movies again and again but this is a legit nomination because we have jk simmons from tony maguire spider-man days returning as jay jonah jameson and this just shuffles around the entire mcu universe Damn. multiverse what are we dealing with we have no idea This came on as a mid credit scene. Yes. And I was left holding my head. I was like, "What's happening? Is he J. Jonah Jameson here as well? Yeah. Is this, are we are we merging with the Tobey Maguire universe? Right, What's right. happening? Absolutely. So many questions, but it's so much fun to see J. Jonah Jameson come back. Totally. And being portrayed by none other than J. K. Simmons. Of course. Yeah. I mean, we know the Daily Bugle is like this old school newspaper setup. Here, yeah. they've made it more into like a found footage 21st century thing. Right. And I think I know what's coming up next. A certain sinister six. Holy shit! Nomination number five goes to The Weekend from Uncut Gems. Whoa. If you have not seen this movie, this is a new Adam Sandler movie that ha- I think it was majorly, majorly, majorly missing out yep. during the Oscars because it should have been nominated. Right. And. Uh, Adam Sandler does such a kick-ass job, but the weekend comes on. We got Kevin Garrett as well, who's a part of the cast. He's not a he's not a cameo, okay. but the weekend is is cameoing in the movie, Yo. and he gets his ass beaten by Adam Sandler. They Ouch. have a proper brawl. Yeah. It's almost like Eminem in Entourage. And this was so much fun. So Star Boy not being so starry, and Adam Sandler not playing himself. Of course. What do you want? So that wraps up our nominations again in no particular order. Yep. Please let us know if you think we missed out. Like, share, subscribe, comment. We guys want to talk to you. Right. We have nominations now. We're doing winners Feb 10. Screw you, Oscars. You freaking guys are copying us. You're stealing our freaking broadcast time. But we're still going to do this, right? Yeah. And of course, if there are any best cameos that we missed out on and you want us to know, do comment in the comment section below. Let us Yo. know. And as you do, like, share, subscribe, guys. Yeah, and guys, stalk us, man. Like we're missing out. Where are you guys? <laughs> See you guys soon. Three, two. Oh, who's the nominee? <laughs> <laughs> What is it doing? Our fifth nomination. <laughs> Sir. Good job. You did fifty. Set up, guys. Just Harrison Ford from Alive of the Skywalker. Okay. Okay. Cool. Three, two, one. Nomination number two. We have Harrison Ford. Wah wah wah. Han Solo. Carlo Valo. Okay. Three, two, one. Bumper BTS. <laughs> <laughs> It's done. <laughs>